Hi, this is Dave from Corona Music Center, and today we're going to talk to Alex Zimmer. So how long have you been playing guitar, and what made you decide that you wanted to become a teacher? Um, I actually started playing guitar when I was about seven years old through my actual... My dad's a teacher, so I've always kind of had teaching in my blood, I guess you can say. So, I mean, I've been playing guitar since I was seven. I've been playing in bands since I was 11. Um, I started teaching when I was about 18 years old, and that seemed about like the right time, because I was actually going to school for it at that time, and I was studying jazz after... A background of classical and metal playing, I kind of started teaching, so it's pretty cool. Really? So you you can teach jazz and, mm -hmm. and classical? Yes. Wow. What impact has guitar playing had? Um, basically, well, since I've been around music my entire life, guitar playing has pretty much been my sole focus of my life up until now. But I mean, it's been, God, how do I put it, like my best friend for one point, like guitar, just whenever I had any spare time I would just go and play guitar and it was the most fun thing for me to do and going to go play live shows and going to go do anything else has always been entertaining now, to me. Your major, so, I mean, major musical influences? Um, anything from, I guess my favorite would be like John Petrucci, Steve Vile, the Italian stallion guitar players that are awesome. But um, I mean I take any influence from anybody I've ever played with, anybody that ever does anything for music, classical composers, jazz musicians, I mean Anybody. I've taken influence from a ton of people. So you don't limit yourself? No. That's cool. What do you tell your students when they ask you, well, what can I do to be a better guitar player? Uh, it kind of depends on where they are as a guitar player. I mean, if they're a beginning student, you obviously got to learn the basic backgrounds of like notation, chords, power chords, stuff like that that will get you going. If you're a little bit more advanced guitar player, kind of more scales, Getting to go actually play on rhythm, on beat, being able to play with people, because I feel that's a huge thing. And I mean, if you're a more advanced player, then whatever you want to learn, wherever you want to take it from there, because you can go anywhere from there. <laughs> I ask um, all the teachers this: they, you know, you always have the, the parents come up and say, you know, how long is it going to take for my kid to learn his first song? And what do you usually tell them? Um, kind of depends if it's like a really easy song, first lesson, you know, one note kind of going from there and you can kind of start the whole one note thing and then go from there. And like I said in other questions, like if it's an advanced, like more advanced student, then I mean you can learn it. Well, it really depends on the student and how much they're willing to actually practice away from the class. Mm -hmm. But I mean... What's your education as far as music goes? Um, you know, why, why should I take lessons from you? Um, well, let's see. I started at the, the Fender Center for Performing Arts when I was 11. I started with my dad at 7. Um, I went to study jazz performance in college from 18 to about 22. And currently I'm going for commercial music now because there's more money in it. That's an honest answer. Honest engine. <laughs> this has been Dave at Corona Music Center and we've been talking to uh, Alex Zimmer. And any, any last um, Any last words? Take lessons from me. It'll be awesome. It'll be a fun experience. You'll learn a lot. So yeah, awesome. Awesome.